So catching up from the happenings of the weekend, looking on the wrestling interwebs, I saw something that, that kind of struck me. It was Nia Jax posting on social media, talking about how it's one thing when fans in the internet try to body shame her, but it's hurtful and kind of disrespectful or whatever the hell she said. This can basic gist of it when uh, people that she trusts with her body that she changes in front of in the women's locker room are the ones that are body shaming her too. And, you know, I will say this in defense of Nia Jax. I know it can't be the Raw and SmackDown, either individually or combined lo women's locker rooms that are talking trash about how any woman's body looks. Because as a collection, as a group, with a couple of notable exceptions for sure, this is largely a group of flat-chested, plywood ass having, butter facing, it's true, chicks with dicks looking, meaning really guys with tits looking, collection of women. I mean, so many of these women, if we want to get on the body shaming, my ass is bigger than theirs and my chest is bigger than theirs. And we have the photographic proof, at least when it comes to one for sure. The point I'm getting at here is this is why women don't have a lot of female friends because women are catty and they talk crap about each other and they will do everything they can to undercut the other person and so on and so forth. It's true. Don't believe me. Ask around. But if there are women in the WWE locker room body shaming her, are we 10? Grow up. Try to actually be good at your job. Get the hell over. Who cares? Because actually, you need a woman like her to kind of shake things up and mix things up. I mean, I'm not surprised. As you're talking about the WWE, which features a locker room with some of the biggest babies and the biggest kids of any... Uh, sport or business you will ever see and we see this at play all the time especially in terms of social media reactions so shame on them if they are body shaming Nia Jax now with that said I, I call bullshit on Nia Jax talking about she thinks her body is she's healthy and that she thinks she's beautiful and da 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 nah I'm not buying that you wouldn't have went to such lengths to post about it on social media, to go out of your way to talk about it if it didn't bother you. Or you wouldn't go out of that way to do what you did if you actually believed it. She posted this whole big long diatribe on social media with a picture, I believe, of her running on a treadmill. There's a reason she did it. And don't believe her when she's saying she loves her body and this and that no she doesn't because if she did she wouldn't have to tweet that stuff why would she have even brought it up it's because she's looking for attention she is looking for your sympathy and she should probably not get it and does not really deserve it and I don't mean that to be crass and I don't mean that to be an ass although some of you will say that I am but here's the simple truth of the matter is that ultimately the only thing that matters in this world is what you think about yourself and if you are happy that is fine but it doesn't change some things about you like at this point in time in this stage of my life I am what I am I look how I look I'm cool with that it just doesn't really bother me and even if you think it does trust me it really doesn't I can make more jokes and rip on myself more than anybody else in the world reason being it just doesn't matter. There are bigger, more important fish to fry, and I've learned that over the years. So if somebody wants to make fun of my nervous tics, like the eye twitching, which it's done for almost 30 years now, fuck it, who cares? It is who I am. Shit's funny. Because if I allowed it to bother me, then that means that I allow it to dictate my life and dominate my life, and I'm not going to sit there and do that. Look at this, I'm 36 and I freaking, in no shave November, I can't even grow a decent mustache to save my life, looking like a couple of devil, ho devil horns. And I don't even know what the hell this pube section is down here. But it is what it is. I can't change it. Why do I care? I don't really. I really, truly don't. So when people will make fun of it or talk about it, I just largely ignore it because, again... 
why would you allow yourself, as we would say in the customer service world, to get hooked? That's exactly what you're doing, Naya. You are getting yourself hooked when you don't need to. And all the other things, my voice that when it gets high pitched, it sounds like Roddy Roddy Piper and Mickey Mouse having butt sex, you know, all those type of things. Maybe not the visual that you wanted, especially with Piper being dead now, but it's the visual you got nonetheless. Um again, it is who I am. You don't see me doing a lot of videos talking about it. I will mention it and reference it and move the hell on from it sometimes. But I won't go posting on social media and talking about, oh, you can't hold me down even with this and even with that. Because I don't need your sympathy and I don't want your sympathy. To me, that is a waste of other people's energy. And most importantly of all, it is a waste of my energy trying to gather that and get that from other individuals. And it comes down to this whole thing talking about body shaming and this and that. The point I'm really one trying to make here is... If you are a bigger girl, you are a bigger girl. And if people call you fat, well, based off of standard, you know, health measurements, you are. You are obese or you are overweight. So what? But it doesn't change what you are. It's like people get so butthurt and so bothered when anybody says anything negative to them whatsoever. We've pussified this place. We've pussified this world. And that's not necessarily saying that it should be an excuse to say whatever the hell you want to anybody whenever the hell you want, regardless of the impact, regardless of the way it makes that person feel. But it is also a two-way street of we shouldn't get so butthurt and we shouldn't get so bothered by every little thing that somebody says about us. We just shouldn't. If they say mean and hurtful, hateful things about you, then maybe they're not the type of people that you really want to engage with too much in conversation and in life in general. And granted, maybe it's coming from some of the people within the WWE locker room. Probably is. You know what? You be professional, you be businesslike, and then you move the hell on. Don't let them hook you. Don't let them suck you in. Nia Jax is a fat girl. Like we, we say at the F word fat and it's supposed to be like a bag thing. It is what it is. There is a whole major subsection of men in this world and surely women too that would prefer to bone a Nia Jax as opposed to somebody like a Paige or like an Alicia Fox. Nia Jax got some meat on her some bones. She's got some junk in her trunk and there are a lot of fellas, a lot of fellas. That would love to give it to her all night long. And so why, why be looking for acceptance? Why be so mad when you're saying people are body shaming you? If they're calling you fat or talking about how you look out of shape or this or that. Who cares? Really? And in general, you see the this all the time on social media and on the internet when somebody's called fat or they get body shamed how all these people came to their defense and blah 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 stop enabling the pussies okay all it's doing is just leading to a, a significant pussification across the board and believe me we have seen this pussification in professional wrestling over the years and I think it's one of many many reasons why professional wrestling just is not as popular in this country as it used to be because we don't push certain boundaries. We don't go to certain places. That doesn't mean that there shouldn't be limits or there shouldn't be cutoff points. But come on now, give me a break. Ultimately, if Nia Jax truly thought her body was beautiful and truly loved every bit of who she was, she wouldn't have to post about it. And what I'm saying is she shouldn't have to post about it because ultimately you are who you are. Accept it. Maybe you want to make improvements. That's fine. But if somebody like me doesn't like it or somebody else doesn't like it, who cares? Don't go post about it on social media looking for sympathy because it's kind of sad. It's kind of pathetic. You're better than that. You're prettier than that. Just saying. Body shaming my ass. People need to grow up and get a set. They do. And now I need to learn how to click the off button on the video. And it still didn't work.